So, day three of baby seahorse rearing. Um, yesterday was day two. I didn't do a video of that. That's because nothing terribly exciting happened. Uh, the only notable thing about yesterday was that there were four functional baby seahorses instead of just the one. Um, those four were up in the water column. One does look lighter in color than the others. Um, three are dark brown and the one is kind of a light tan color. I don't know if that one will eventually develop to be yellow or what the difference is, but we'll just wait it out and see. Um, well, assuming they live that long. Let's hope they live that long. The day three things to note were um, I pulled out the adults um, to put them in a bucket and let them feed on some ghost shrimp. And I think just the stress from having moved them freaks one of the males out and he started to release some eggs and he had like weird little preemie babies that that was kind of an oops. There were like a hundred of those on the bottom of the tank. So lesson learned, not going to do that. I guess I'm just going to disable some ghost shrimp by like pinching them or I don't know. I don't want them to eat my babies. So I'll figure out a way to feed the adults because they're hungry and looking for food but they are getting fed. Um, there are, I don't know, it's kind of weird. I think one of my males is giving birth slowly and he's like pumping out like maybe five or six babies at a time. But those ones seem to be not as old as the other ones and they just kind of like wiggle on the bottom of the tank. I tried turning up the water flow to get them circulating, but they like get up in the water column and I don't think they're able to fill their swim bladder. I don't know what's going on with that. So they'll like kind of get up in the water column, swirl around for a bit, and then settle back to the bottom, and then twitch on the bottom until they get pulled back up. So there's that happening, but there are like seven functional babies now. Right now I kind of have my like special babies and my good babies. I don't know which male is producing my good babies. I know that one dropped, one male dropped a whole bunch of eggs, one male has having like weird little preemie babies that twitch, and I don't know if... The other one is the one releasing like a few good ones at a time or what's really going on with that. Or maybe some of the twitchy babies are actually getting functional. Don't really know what's happening. But I have some baby seahorses and they look more or less okay. So we'll see what tomorrow brings.